All right, y'all, I've been wanting to check out this house for a minute. It's been on the market, but I haven't had a chance to get down here because I've been so busy. But anyway, let's check it out. I'm down here, kind of sandwiched in between. I'm off of like 15th and Corcoran in Northwest DC. This is kind of like the Shaw area. Some people call it Logan. It's kind of sandwiched in between there. But here's the house. I already opened the door. Let's go check this thing out. Don't forget to click the link to my channel. Make sure you subscribe and leave comments. I wanna get all your feedback. I love it. You guys have been giving me some great feedback and you know, I'm learning some stuff. You guys are learning some stuff. This has been really cool. Let's check it out. Okay, all right, so. Hey, we're on a busy street. <laughs> Y'all know how I am about that, but that's not such a big deal because, I mean, you know, we're in DC. That's the area. It just kind of comes par for the course in this neighborhood. So I'm right off of 15th Street. It's a pretty cool little neighborhood. A lot of people walking around, jogging around. There's some great places to eat around here. So I open up the door and we're just gonna check this thing out. It's been on the market for a minute and I wanted to kind of figure out why. I like it though. This is pretty cool. All right, let me turn on some lights. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's this weird hum. <laughs> I have no idea what that could be, but maybe we'll figure it out. Now check out that fireplace, I like that. I wonder if that's a, what kind of finish that is. So it's a faux finish, but it looks like stone or some type some type of uh, rock material. Looks pretty cool. I like the I like the look here. They're going with the black. We have the black and white, so that's pretty cool. Love these floors. I'm gonna close this door. We got these wide panel, uh, wide plank rather, wood floors. They're a little little squeaky. Oh, y'all hear that? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Now, it looks like this house was fully renovated, so that's interesting that it's squeaking already. Who knows what that's all about? By the way, this house has a basement apartment, so we're going to go check that out as well. And there is something humming. What in the world is that? It's in this <laughs> hood. <laughs> It's nice looking, but it hums, and who knows why. All right, let me see if I can find some lights for this area. So we have the humming hood. Nice big cooking area. I could do some work over here, work my magic. Oh, look, oh, okay, so I wonder if this is a cookbook. Oh yeah, nice, um, from Magnolia. Those folks have been doing it. And you know, it's funny because they've inspired a lot of design elements that we see in houses these days. So this house looks like something that they would have um, come up with or that they inspired at least. So it's kind of cool to see a couple um, make an impact on, on real estate like that. All right, so I'm coming back here and this is our pantry area. Um, this is pretty nice. Nice size. Oh, okay, we have a furnace here. You know, I think I'm thrown off by that humming sound. <laughs> it's like, that would irritate me. It's irritating me now. So I don't know if the, if the agent's been here in a while, but they need to come check that out. I don't know what's going on with that. So here we have our outside area. We have a little balcony here and we're gonna go downstairs, but there's our, there's your backyard right there. You have a, a view of the backyard and of course, you know, it's city living. So you're not gonna have a large yard here. All right, so I'm kind of sort of looking, I wonder if they have, um, man, that is so crazy. Why this thing is buzzing like that. So we have a lot of cool appliances there. We have our beverage cooler. Let's see what's around here. Okay. Ah, that's pretty cool. Here's our powder room. Like the, the gunmetal finish on the sink. 
and then there's me. And it looks like they have one of these interactive mirrors here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can see something. Okay, so we got some lights. That's pretty cool. I wonder what that does. Oh, probably keeps, well, oh no. We're gonna say maybe it keeps it from fogging up. I'm not sure if you need that in this room since it's just a powder room. So maybe, you know, it looks good. It's kind of cool. And we have another little closet here. All right. So we have strange sounds going on. We got the buzzing hood and the squeaky floors. <laughs> Who knows what that's all about. I like these rails. It's a nice little feature. Gives it sort of an industrial look. All right, now here we go. We're on the second level. This is a bedroom. This is a secondary bedroom, it looks like. And see what kind of lights we have. Oh yeah, lots of windows. You're gonna get a lot of light in here. Okay, and let's check out this bathroom. Okay, here we go. All right, so here we have again, one of these heated mirrors. <laughs> That's a pretty cool, one. I like that look. I like the ring. All right, ooh, look at that. I'm over here playing with the mirrors. <laughs> so you have three levels there, three settings on that. Um, that's pretty cool. Go down the hall here. We have another bedroom. Ah, and they have their own ensuite. I love the high ceilings in here. This is really nice. Ensuite, their own bathroom. And of course they got one of those cool mirrors. You guys are gonna be teasing me about these mirrors. Look at John, he's all. <laughs> John likes the mirrors. <laughs> oh man, it's kinda neat. Oh, I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Oh, now that's an interesting window there. I wonder if that's an original one. Of, no, that feels like it's new. So, huh, that's an interesting window. I like it though. They, you know, they're trying to bring a little bit of character. It's funny though, because this is a pretty modern contemporary style. And I'm not sure if that fits. I don't have a problem with it, but I find it interesting that they went with that style. And then we have these small windows over here as well. Yeah, that's kind of kind of cool. You know, you gotta try new things. And they went for it. And of course, then we have another bathroom. Oh, that's, okay, so they have buckles on their mirrors. I thought that was some wiring or something like that. That was, um... now here's, this is interesting, I like, I don't, I like this, I do like this. What they did was they just put a half glass instead of half going all the way across. I don't know if you guys, if anybody's experienced this, but I have seen where if you have a glass door, it's actually more common than you would believe for these things to break because for some reason someone closes it too fast or too hard and they break, especially the ones that swing open and they hit, they're on a hard surface. So it may seem a little weird because you're thinking there's gonna be a lot of splash coming out, but you'd be surprised that most of the splashing does not really land on the floor out here. It stays inside the, inside the shower. I mean, you can make it splash if you want, but it doesn't have to. Weird thing here. So they have a locking, they have a lock on this bedroom door and the key is bent. That's the strangest thing. Now, how in the world did that happen? But they have all the bedrooms on this level. So we have three bedrooms and three bathrooms on this level alone. And they all have locking doors. So I guess if you're gonna rent it out to somebody, have roommates or whatever. Now I'm on the third level. And this is, a, oh, I like this, I like this space. So you have like another little seating and living area down here. This is pretty cool. And then you have your top level balcony. And of course we're gonna hang out and check out all the views. This is nice. I could hang out here on a sunny day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is my space. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. This house has a, a fourth level. I just saw another set of stairs. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll have to check it out. All right, let's see, what is this here? Okay, so we have our 
our bathrooms. Now that's an interesting wall. What did they do here? Okay, so that's, that's an artificial texture, but it looks like concrete. Wow, that's really cool. I like the look of that. Again, it kind of goes with the pseudo industrial feel. We have our wash and dryer here. Now, I'm hoping that's not the only one because you'd have to come all the way to the third level to wash clothes. So maybe I missed it somewhere, but man. So this is our master suite. <laughs> I did it again. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so this is our main bedroom here. And they went with these different windows. And this one looks like it has a balcony, but I don't know if you can really go out there. So it's just a, just for looks, it looks like. I guess you can climb through that window easily because you lift it up. They have screens on there. I presume that the screens possibly are removable. And then we have the primary bathroom. And in this one, they went with blue, blue shell cabinets. And, huh, there's another weird sound going on in this house. Okay, and then we have our bathroom and everything. So that's pretty neat. Wow, that's a cool design. Gotta dig that. Okay, let's see what's on that next level. Okay, and then this just takes us to our absolute rooftop. And, okay. So now we're on the rooftop, rooftop, rooftop. <laughs> As if you weren't high enough, this is where you would have a party. Now, obviously, you know, they have this furniture out here for staging. Looks like they have some storage over here as well. Let's check it out. Yep, we got some storage. Got another furnace there. And, you know, all of this is blown all over the place. Now, I'm curious about something. I, I want to see if I... This is the rooftop. And I want to go back down here because I want to check something out. Oh, okay, yeah. I was wondering, do you get privacy? Because I missed this door and I was wondering if people would have to come all the way through a bedroom. Um, but no, everything is good. All right, so let's go down. We're gonna go check out that basement unit. Okay, so we're going into this basement unit. I'll just open the door here. <laughs> this, is the, this is the loud house. <laughs> it has a squeaky door. Here we go. They went with the blue cabinets. That's kind of cool. I like that. They added some color in here. So we have our living area and then we have, you know, so you have your living your kitchen area. It's kind of set up almost like a studio. A typical, <laughs> typical English basement. I think they need to find some oil <laughs> and get all. Woo. That is loud. Why didn't they fix that? I mean, that is, that's crazy. You're trying to, you know, sell a house. You fix little things like that. It's all in the details. Anyway, that's just me. And then we have our utilities and the washer and dryer. You guys can't really see that because there's not a whole lot of light, but there's a washer and dryer here. And then we have our Bedroom, and I like this. This is a nice size bedroom for this for this basement. Oh, and it has its own bathroom. Lovely. That's really cool that they made it so that it has its own. Um, it's like an ensuite bathroom instead. And then we have another. So we actually are rocking with two. Oh, okay. So they gave us a powder room. <laughs> Not a full bathroom. So you act, they actually gave us a whole nother powder room. So a full bath and a half. And then here we have, oh my goodness, they did it all right. Check this out. So now you see we have a second bedroom and they dropped in another bathroom. So we have just in this basement alone, two and a half bathrooms. That is sweet. 
All right. And then, of course, we have our patio area back here. So you're just hanging out. Easy access. Everybody's chilling. So, not bad. Let's go, um, go back upstairs to the kitchen with the loud hood and, or with the humming hood and um, talk about the numbers on this house. So you've seen the whole house. Tell me, what do you think? Does this work for you? Let's look at the numbers, okay? Cause you always gotta, uh, you know, figure that out. So they are asking 2.999, okay? 2,999,000 for this home. They estimated, so they did not measure, means they probably, you know, built the whole place all over and added square footage. They estimated that above ground, which means anything that's not a basement is about 2,800 square feet. And then we have some additional square footage in the basement which you've seen already and it looks kind of cool. That is at $827 per square foot. This house was originally built in 1885. So you can tell this is an older house. They redid, they just did everything. I'm wondering, and at first I was thinking about those windows because the style seems to fit an older house, but that is not, well, I thought somebody was coming in the house. Those are not old windows. Those were brand new windows. I could tell when I touched them. This house has been on the market for 166 days. What is going on? What do you think? Why do you think this house has not sold? I think it's a great location. I don't think the busy street is, is a factor here. Is there something missing? I want you guys to tell me if you think there's something missing or what do you suspect? Maybe it's the price. Maybe they're just asking too much. It's a great location. I don't see a problem with that because you can easily walk to pretty much anything if you want to. So make sure you let me know, leave your comments, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the love. I'll talk to you at the next one.